is up fleet fans and welcome back to my channel woke up early this morning just to watch the brand new episode of the handmaid's tale this is season three episode four so excited to talk about this today i need you guys in the comments section have you seen the episode first and if you have not are you looking forward to it at the beginning of this video we will talk non-spoilery general discussion on this episode and then about halfway through we'll start talking spoilers just in case you haven't seen it Let's talk about The Handmaid's Tale. So in this episode, June negotiates a truce in the Waterford's fractured relationship. Janine oversteps with the Putnam family and a steel healing Aunt Lydia offers a brutal public punishment. And oddly enough, what I really liked about this episode, so in every episode so far this season, last season, the first season, there is something that sets up a story point in a future episode. That's how you do television, right? Well, in this episode, there are two or three things planted strategically within here that set up things that are very exciting in the future while being an episode that didn't really give us any action or an episode that did not give us a major event other than what Aunt Lydia does later on in the episode. And we'll talk about that when we get into spoilers, but I'm actually really okay with that. In a show like The Handmaid's Tale, you need those episodes that provide setup, but then pay off certain story points. Then you have episodes like this one that give you a bit of both, right? You are slowly developing that relationship between June and Serena. And where their relationship is now compared to where it was like, well, even at the end of season two, five episodes ago, it was completely different. And that's because Serena is starting to really find herself as a person and discover that she's not just this yes sir, no sir individual. She is her own person. She deserves to have a say in what goes down in the backcourt of Commander Waterford. And I really like where her character is going. I didn't expect it like eight or nine episodes ago. I'm like, yeah, Serena, don't like her. Notch her down on the bad mark. She had shown promise, but there were so many things that happened between her and June, especially where I said, no, nah, I don't think Serena's going to turn. And not that she is turning completely, but you can see the tides start to shift a little bit. And that relationship between her and June, you buy it. It's kind of like Jamie in Game of Thrones. The guy pushed a kid out the window at the beginning of the series. And then where he was at the end of that series, without spoiling anything, completely different character. And I liken that to what she is. I really really like her as a character, and I like where their relationship is going. And in this episode, you have the handmaids going to an event at the Putnam family's house that is, of course, the family that had Janine's baby. So you expect Janine to maybe act up or act a certain way once she gets there. Her relationship with Aunt Lady is one of the more fascinating of this season, and really of the entire show so far, because what happened between them at the beginning and where she is now just constantly trying to impress her and... You can tell, still a little bit out of her mind. I don't blame her because of the situation she's in, but I love where that is headed and how that came to a head in this episode, which once again, we'll talk about here in a bit. And then the other storyline going on is Emily is home now. She escaped with the baby. She took the baby where the baby needed to be, and now she is rediscovering her old life and that's a story that I didn't expect to like as much as I did because I was worried way more about what's going on in Gilead but once she met up with the person that she loves it just that spark you felt it and the sadness and the emotion everything hit you at once and you're like oh my goodness this person has been away in this horrible situation for so long and now she's coming back into the fold coming back into her own life and that has to be a difficult thing to come back to. So all of those things being said, I enjoyed this episode. Once again, not a crazy action-packed episode and not a ton went down from a spectacle standpoint, but really this isn't a show that needs spectacle. It's a show that needs story development and character development. And that's what we're getting and that's what I really enjoyed. Okay, in terms of spoilers, there's not too much to spoil from a crazy standpoint. Like I said, you have Emily going back to her old life, but she actually gets to meet up with her son. She gets to see him for the first time. They agree that they're going to hug each other when they're ready. And once again, that emotion inside her, you feel it. It could be the acting. She's very good in this episode, by the way, but it all just swells up at once. And you feel that connection between those two. June and Serena, of course, we've been growing their relationship, but just that line at the end, maybe now Commander Waterford is going to see that and you're going to have more power. And that could be where this series is going. Serena could be there. She could end up being on June's side. They could team up and take them down together. 
I don't know. That's just a speculation, but I find that really interesting and fascinating. And then, of course, her telling June where to find her child on the playground after school. Serena is starting to realize the pain that June has went through, even though I think it took her longer than a normal human being, but I still like that she's realizing it, and I liked that was a nice touch. Aunt Lydia, her situation with Janine, when Janine kind of snaps, as we all anticipated her to, she goes after the baby. She doesn't go after the baby trying to take the baby. She just says, I want to be with my child, and I want to try again, have you all another kid. And then Aunt Lydia just like, she takes the thing, she starts beating the crap out of her, and then she sees that everyone there is looking at her like a monster, she is going through her own thing right now. I don't know where it's going to lead her character because she has shown promise in the past, yet she always still turns out to be this monster, so I like it. I think she's fantastic, and like I said in my last video last week, Ann Dowd is one of the best actresses, actors, performers in the business. I love her so much, so to see where her character is going is completely fascinating. So that's really about it in terms of spoilers. I want you guys to comment down below. If you have a major spoiler, just do a couple of spaces after you leave a spoiler tag, and if not, talk about this episode. This is your place to talk about A Handmaid's Tale, and yeah, I can't wait for next week's episode just to see where it goes. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, if you enjoy my Handmaid's Tale reviews, be sure to leave that thumbs up, and I will continue doing this on a weekly basis just because I have fun watching this show. I woke up a little earlier than I wanted to today, but you know what? At the end of the day, it's all worth it. I appreciate you guys watching this, and uh, I'll see you later on today with a Netflix documentary review.